Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Bates, and today we have here my wife, Brianne Bates, and we are in our kitchen, and she is going to help us make our own homemade bone broth. So there's three reasons why you want to consume broth on a consistent basis. One of them is it's actually great for your GI tract, which is important in reducing inflammation, which is a side effect of that, reducing inflammation, actually helps your back pain. Two, it's actually loaded with a lot of healthy joint nutrients. And so if we want to keep our joints healthy through our lives, bone broth is an excellent source of these nutrients. And lastly, it actually helps to boost your immune system response. Now before we get started making our broth, we're gonna need a couple things. We need a large pot, that's what we're going to actually boil the chicken in. So you wanna make sure you have one of these. And then you want to have a crock pot. We slow cook the bones with the broth for 24 hours and we use a slow cooker to do that. Set on low or warm, depending on how long you're going to cook it. And then I have these large mason jars. So I use these to store the broth once it's done. Okay, so our first step is we're going to take our chicken and pick him up, or her. Make sure that we've taken out the plastic bag on the inside that's usually here. It has giblets and other fun things in there. We're going to take that out. We don't want that inside. So we place this into our pot. Now we're going to cover the chicken with water. We want to make sure the chicken is fully covered. Now we're going to go ahead and take the pot, which has the chicken and the water in it, and put it on the stove to boil. And that's going to stay there boiling for two hours. So once we've cooked the chicken for two hours in the pot, we remove the meat from the bones and we place the liquid as well as our bones into the crock pot. The bones should look something like this. Now we'll go ahead and toss them in. I love using veggies in the broth. For the most basic yet flavorful broth, I use one onion, a bunch of celery, and four small carrots. We also add one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar to strip the healthy minerals from the bones. Last comes our secret ingredient, Woo! chicken feet. They're packed with collagen, which helps with your joints. Now you're gonna set your pressure cooker to low and it will simmer for 24 hours. So now we have the beautiful finished product. We get this amazing broth, it's so delicious. So what we did was we took the broth from the crock pot and we used a strainer. We took out all the bones and all the vegetables and the things that were left over and we're left with just this in our two large mason jars. So we're going to cover them and place them in the fridge and you can have this broth for up to seven days. That's some good bone broth. Um, the best way to actually use bone broth is always drink on, a, on an empty stomach because it's great for your GI tract and you don't want it to be lined with food. You want maximum absorption also, remember, this is a great uh, healthy joint food. And so the best time to drink this type of uh, food is before you go for a workout, maybe 30 minutes to an hour before, and then do a workout and all this nice healthy joint supplementation is actually going uh, right to where you want it, in the joints. And you can't get them there if you're not moving. So I wanna close this video by just thanking my beautiful wife for doing this how-to and uh, I hope you enjoy this video.